Another classic one. You remember how I did a, um, we did a video on your, you know, b bullshitting on your bench press record? Yeah, yeah. So we did that video and then obviously people are still saying that it's bullshit that, um, you know, calculating out um, based they on actually your... actually go that far in the calculating it, do they? Yeah, yeah, that you'd be an, an elite power lifter and... Well, um, the people used to always ask me when I was younger there, you can even ask any of my friends, Barry Street, Paul Haslam, who's a trainer at City Gym now in Sydney, that when I was... We've been 17 or so, 16, 17, I benched 525 pounds and I was weighing around between 70, 75 kilos. And I usually get asked a lot, because I used to squat heavy then too, that I should go in the powerlifting because for my body weight and what I used to live, I would have been a champion powerlifter, but I never wanted to go into powerlifting. So to all those fucking mathematicians out yeah. there who want to calculate, just <laughs> because you can't do it, well, too bad for you, you suck. <laughs> No, well, just um, uh, once again, like, is is there? Well, you, times, I've seen powerlifting shows that who's that guy they call the ant, whatever. I've seen a ton of powerlifting shows where you see these guys who look like nothing, but can lift huge amounts. So some people are just genetically strong. You know, back then I might have had a ton of muscle, but yet for my age I was super strong. So, so there's a lot of people out there who, like I said, you might look at him and go, he doesn't look much, but then even at the gym you see him bench or something, you're like, fuck, I look at the weight he lifts or squats. So. Well, they're all, well, actually, you've done what you've of sort of, you've named some witnesses mm -hmm. um, that, that were actually there and, and, and saw it. And the other one is the, the classic one was your your barbell curl. Was what was that? So it was three hundred and five pounds. And um, Joe Gold was there looking out the window. Eddie Giuliani, yeah, from Pumping Iron. He was there on the balcony watching. Steve Strong that used to work at the gym. If I could find Steve wherever he is now, he actually took photos of it. So he actually has photos of it. <laughs> he actually keep, used to keep me in his gym bag to show people. So. I'm not one of these people who <laughs> make something just, just for the fun of it. If somebody asks me what's the best I've done, I'll say, you know, best I've ever curled is 305. If the best I've ever curled was 150, I'd say the best I've ever curled is 150, just like what I use when it comes to drugs. I don't give a fuck. I'm not here to impress anyone or make up poundages because that's it. Just because I curled 305 that day, I, I never curled it every day. It's like my best squat was like 775, but. I only did that a couple of times. The most time I squat, I always stuck around maybe five plates max, six on the odd occasion. So four or five plates was what I generally stuck around. I never went to seven, seven and a half plates all the time, close to eight plates. So, you know, when people think that I say, okay, I curled three or five, it wasn't that I did on a regular basis. No, it's like occasionally on the odd occasion, I curled 100 pound dumbbells, but did I do that all the time? No, I normally stuck around generally working weight, 60, 70 pound dumbbells when I used to curl them. So. Now, just because these other people can't do it, or they think in their mind, well, this does this, or I've seen this guy do it, and he's this heavy, so, and he struggles, so how could this guy do it? Like I said, I've been to gyms many times, and I've seen somebody load up a machine, I look at the guy thinking, oh, fuck, he's going to kill himself, but yet he does the weight, so, some people are just naturally strong, and just, you know, just because we can't do it, you know, and someone else can, you can, don't look for excuses, but, you know, it's that tall poppy syndrome, you know? If they can't do it, they want to put everyone else down that can, so it's just jealousy. And while, while they've got their calculators out, <laughs> with, with the 775 pound squat, mm -hmm. was that one rep or...? A, six. Six reps. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mark, Mark that used to work at World Gym was there spotting me in that, so yes, because when I, they actually had to, when I lifted the bar up, they had to get two people to lift it off the rack, because as I lifted the bar, the bar bent, so I was still sitting on the <laughs> rack. And then when I went back to do it, I actually felt my spine go through. So when I was finished and went to put it back, I was probably this much shorter, so they actually had to help me get it back up on the rack. So, yes. Yeah. yeah. I just think, you know, there's... I can't understand the people that are into training haven't come across or don't know people that are... It's like I said, it just seems to be these idiots these days, the more like fancy boys that just take gear, go to the gym, the one look pretty, the ones that get on the keyboards and do it, because if you look back in the old days, the Barbarian Brothers, you know, look at them, you know, four or five plates pressed behind the neck, they were cool on the 150 pound dumbbells, bench and heavy weights, yeah. you know, all the guys back in those days used to lift heavy weights and no one ever questioned it, people saw them do it, they're like, fuck, they're strong, yeah, yeah. You know? 
These days, ah, oh, steroids, oh, he can't do that, nah, that is bullshit, and like I said, it's just all these fucking fairy boys now who just want to go to the stereo sonic concerts with their ab show and take and give their fucking, you know, boy fucking band hairstyles slicked to the side, wankers, who I said, just because they can't do it, no one can do it, so, like on, I said. And, also, and it doesn't matter if it's bodybuilding or running or... You always come across guys no, that have just got that, anything. you know, they'll just pick up a natural cricket bat ability. and start, yeah, and you know, yeah. Yeah, like, so you could have somebody who's a good runner, you can have one kid's head admiration, all of a sudden, boom, he blows yeah. past you, you're like, well, fucking hell, you know. It's going to happen in all sports, you know. Some people are just good at something. You know, we're yeah. All, we're all good at something. Sometimes it might not be something athletic, maybe it could be something mathematic. These people with their calculators. <laughs> some, people, some people are good at electronics, some people are just good at building shit, some people, people are good at, you know, working out puzzles really quick in their minds, like the Rubik's Cube. They still can't fucking do that thing, but you can get people to sit there and go, blah, 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 in 20 seconds or less it's done. So, it's like I said, we're all good at something, you just got to find what you're good at, and just because you're not good at something as somebody else is, you don't, don't need to fucking put them down and fucking come up with excuses why they're good at it and you're not. They're good at it because that's what they're good at. You're not good at it because you suck. Yeah. Simple as that. Yeah, no way. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I can fold shirts, but Jay Schultz folds shirts better than me, but I don't say she's fucking taking roids yeah. and folding better and stuff like that. Do I? Do I, baby? But, no. Well, Ricky Ponning played um, exactly. men's cricket at 11. He must have been on gear. Yeah, look at him. There's another guy who played well all the time, and then he has a couple of bad days. People rubbished him. Yeah. yeah. All those people sitting at home, oh, fuck, can I get him, he sucks, he's this, he's that. What the fuck have you done sitting back there in your armchair drinking beer? <laughs> you can fucking put one of the top Australian cricketers down, but it happens in all sports, you know, when people are sitting at home drinking their beer at the pub, watching a fucking football match. Oh, look at him, fuck him, he missed the ball. Fuck, what, you can do better? <laughs> if you could do better, you would be there, but you're not, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> Simple as that. Same as bodybuilding, they sit there in the audience, oh, I could beat him, I could do that. Get the fuck up on stage and do it then if you're that good. Yeah? Everyone just wants to sit back and fucking put everyone else down that's doing something. So, unless you're going to get up there and do it yourself, shut the fuck up. Whether it be bodybuilding or anything, so shut up. <laughs> Haters. Haters. <laughs>